When the great earthquake hit northeastern Japan in 2011, the Shinkansen Super Express trains all stopped safely, with no major damage. Thanks to the network's many safety measures, including extensive structural reinforcement and an earthquake early warning system. This system uses seismometers along tracks and coastlines to monitor seismic waves. If a major tremor is judged to be imminent, the transformer substations cut power to the lines, bringing all trains safely and swiftly to a halt. After the major 2004 earthquake in Niigata, we improved the effectiveness of the Kansen's earthquake early warning system and reduced the time we need to stop the trains. When the Great East Japan earthquake struck, all our trains stopped safely with no injuries to passengers. The Japan Meteorological Agency has been issuing earthquake early warnings since 2007, with the result that even very large earthquakes now cause relatively little harm. The agency's network of over 4,000 seismometers covers the whole of Japan. These instruments detect the small, faster-moving waves that precede large tremors, instantly transmitting their data to the meteorological agency. Seconds before a large tremor arrives, the agency issues warnings over TV and radio, makes public announcements, and sends alerts to mobile phones. These warnings give people time to prepare for the coming quake and avoid injury. The Ishinomaki Red Cross Hospital in Miyagi Prefecture was virtually undamaged by the Great East Japan earthquake, despite being deep in the disaster zone. That's because this hospital was built using the latest quake-absorbing technology. Even the huge 2011 earthquake caused very little damage. This allowed the hospital to function as a key relief facility after the disaster. The building uses a base isolated system. Its entire structure is supported on isolators to reduce shaking and dampers to absorb seismic motion. Such designs are now being widely adopted in large commercial and residential buildings. When the earthquake struck, the residents of this detached house in Tsukuba City, Ibaraki, hardly felt the shaking. Our cat was having its afternoon nap when the earthquake happened. It just kept on sleeping right through everything. It never even woke up. Her house is protected by an air lift system that offers even more protection than base isolation. The instant the system's seismic sensor detects a large earthquake, it begins pumping compressed air from its tank to instantly levitate the entire house slightly off its foundations. This reduces the effect of ground shaking by up to 30 times. It feels as gentle as floating up in bath water. The system uses an air pressure of just 0.1, about as much as you get when you blow into a tube. Our achievement was to find a practical way to levitate an entire house using such a small force. Japan is famous for its robot technology, and robots can play a vital role in reducing the harm done by disasters. This is a rescue robot used in disaster zones. It investigates places too dangerous for humans to go. Using two caterpillar tracks for traction and four more to act like arms or legs, this is the world's most maneuverable robot capable of handling inclines as steep as 70 degrees. When a building collapses, the only access may be through narrow gaps in the wreckage. One solution is this robot that moves like a snake, carrying an active scope camera. Operated like an endoscope, it can extend up to seven meters, climb 20 centimeter high obstacles, and maneuver 20 degree inclines. New robots like these will help rescuers searching for trapped survivors. Reconstruction efforts after the Great East Japan earthquake of 2011 continue to generate new ideas and technological innovations.